Jala Baramova, daughter of Azerbaijan's prominent economist and political activist Gubad Ibadoglu, has called for the release of her father and other political activists in the country ahead of the UN Climate Change Conference or COP29 to be held in capital Baku in November. Speaking at UN Climate Conference on Friday, Baramova said her father was a critic of oil and gas industry and a corruption fighter. He was deprived of drinking water, proper food and medical care during his detention. Despite being released to house arrest, he still cannot receive the urgent surgery needed for his severe heart condition, Baramova stated. Stressing that Azerbaijan has over 300 political prisoners and 20 jailed journalists, Baramova said two independent media outlets have been shut down and many human rights defenders and activists remain behind bars in the country. Speaking on behalf of Yungo, the official children and youth constituency of the United Nations climate change processes, Baramova called for international pressure over the dire human rights situation in Azerbaijan. We urge the international community to ensure safe local and international engagement, facilitate open visa access, and allow demonstrations. We insist you stand with us in advocating for human right and freedoms of those who dare to speak out against all sorts of injustice during and beyond COP29. Ibadoglu was arrested on July 23, 2023 and remained in pre-trial arrest until April this year when he was released to house arrest. Dear delegates, I am an Azerbaijani human rights lawyer and speak today on behalf of many political prisoners who are unjustly detained, detained in my country, including my father, Dr. Gubel Badolu, who is a critic of the oil and gas industry and a corruption fighter. He was deprived of drinkable water, proper food and medical care during his detention. Despite being released to house arrest, he still cannot receive the urgent surgery needed for his severe heart condition. My country holds more than 300 political prisoners subjected to inhuman conditions. Over 20 journalists are imprisoned. Two independent media outlets have been shuttered and many human rights defenders and activists remain detained in similar conditions. As Yango, we demand action. We urge the international community to ensure safe, local and international engagement, facilitate open visa access and allow demonstrations. We insist you to stand with us in advocating for human rights and freedoms of those who dare to, who dare to speak out against all sorts of injustice during and beyond COP29.